Comment if you look back in history, ancient Rome had year of four emperors, and then France had war of two Peters. So, when some royal biographers have managed to ditch their waitress brand at GTS long enough, and write history the House of Windsor around 2023, I think they should just focus on their two dresses. Because if you want to understand where things stand right now a month, when King Charles and Queen Camilla got married in a cult tradition, and costumes for TV cameras in the 18th century look no further than two frock tails. Wearing one, Princess Wales had just blindfolded and had won her best months yet, while second was worn by Meghan, Duchess Sussex, who came out one hardest patches since her arrival. One month, two royal wags, and two very, very different orbits. Irony, meet the one made happy women of Windsor. So let's take matters in order, shall we? Kate, Princess of Wales, played a blind. Gareth Anderson AFP Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is coming through one of the toughest patches since arriving on scene. First came the coronation on May 6, an event that has been going on for 70 years and a change under construction. Kate appeared to highlight and explain three times the Buckingham Palace synopsis before creating a mood board that referenced the British Museum's Antiquities Department. The result was an Alexander McQueen gown and a headdress worn under the mantle the Royal Victorian Order, all of which made it look like he was channeling Britannia with a peace Queen Mary Steele thrown in for awesome measure. If anyone ever doubted whether a former accessories buyer whose greatest achievement before marriage running a charitable roller disco was successful, hear the perfect proof. Kate seemed like the princess, a role she was born to occupy, rather than any true blue blood with the weak DNA of a true Hanoverian. Kate, who appears to be channeling Britannia at her coronation. Dan Charity WPA Pool, however, Kate nails not only the dress code, but the real work. Not content with casually opening things up and practicing traditional royal art of ribbon cutting, she's delivered biggest royal blow since Stuarts took throne in past few years. The Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood may sound like the kind of touchy, soulful children's initiative that's high on a frame backdrop and low on intellectual weight, but its core purpose is to tackle homelessness addiction and mental health in the next generation. Presidents, plutocrats and power brokers from Belgravia to Bangkok. Someone really hides under the design of Bush not only his light, but also a tremendous ambition. So Kate from strength to strength, nailing it, gold stars everywhere. Kate not only nails the dress code, but the real business. Jordan Pettit AFP the same cannot be said for her sister-in-law, Megan, whose biggest success last month, albeit unintentionally, gave Hertz a global tsunami. Last week, Meghan, her husband, Prince Harry, and mother, Doria Ragler, 